Welcome to Data Analytics Program at Department of Electrical Engineering, Chulalongkorn University. Uh, Data Analytics Program is a track, is an option for graduate program. Uh, here in our EE, we provide many fundamental courses for the students to develop uh, research and work skills in order to develop a statistical model in, uh, with a focus on EE application. The very first group of uh, courses I would like to introduce is a mathematical course. As you all know that uh, linear algebra, optimization, and uh, probabilistic and statistic are the key elements uh, for, for, for us to understand the concept of models. So the first thing is the advanced linear algebra courses uh, that involve a lot of um, uh, linear vector space, uh, non-linear inner product space, a lot of matrix analysis, matrix decomposition, and solving uh, linear and non-linear equations. And for the for these uh, for this track, we uh, design optimization theory. We start with the uh, conceptual. <coughs> conceptual understanding of what an optimization problem is. We introduce a lot of uh, broad uh, problem types and introduce some EE applications, but with less focus on the theoretical part. Uh, th so this is only one credit, five weeks, and a student can choose to focus more on many uh, aspects. For example, 509 will uh, discuss a lot of algorithms uh, in for nonlinear optimization. This is a linear program, uh, <coughs> also one credit. <coughs> we will provide a lot of uh, linear formulations uh, for engineering uh, applications. If you want to learn more about how to develop algorithm for large scale optimization uh, with the engineering and machine learning problem, all those optimizers you use in order to train the neural network. Uh, we will discuss here in this course. And uh, for difficult problems uh, that involve a lot of uh, discrete uh, variable, we have this heuristic optimization course uh, uh, for, for you. And um, uh, this one is also relevant, the graph theory and combinatorial optimization. This course, uh, as you see from the dash line, this course is not officially listed in our data analytic program, um, but it's, uh, it is very relevant to, to optimization. So I, I just include in this uh, mind map for you to see, for you to see like the whole, uh, the whole optimization series courses. If you want to uh, take a further step uh, to a more uh, abstract uh, level, we have introduction of mathematical analysis that, uh, that we introduce you to the concept of real analysis, functional analysis. And this is uh, the last one. Uh, if you understand the basic of probability uh, and statistics, in, in this course, we will take you further to the concept of multivariate. Uh, random variable or the random vectors, and also the introduction of the random process. Okay, uh, as you all see, these courses are listed in the yellow uh, color. It means that they are compulsory. All the grad students in data analytic programs must pass these yellow courses. Okay. And you will see a strong, like a thick uh, ar uh, red arrow signs and with the label core requisite. It means that in order for you to take this one, you must either pass this one, you, either, uh, you must either pass this one or take the two courses in the same semester. Okay, that's the core requisite. Okay, let me move to another group, the signal processing. Uh, as we all know, the one of the important steps in developing a model is the feature engineering step or the feature uh, extraction. In our program, WE program, we have professors who are specialized in many kinds of data. Starting with uh, images, we have the basic and advanced image processing. Uh, many professors work with the uh, medical imaging Okay, and uh, in renewable, in smart grid uh, uh, engineering uh, energy application, now it's a trend that we also uh, aim to analyze a lot of satellite images uh, in order to extract weather information about the solar radiation, okay, related to uh, the solar power. 
Um, for those who want to learn more about video analytics, okay, uh, we recommend you to take digital video processing. We have uh, the concept of uh, adaptive signal processing, adaptive filters, okay, and uh, time series. Um, in engine en energy application, all the data types are mostly in time series format. So even though this is only one credit here, um, uh, we provide you uh, a very uh, like we try to give you a whole idea of uh, what to do in, in for if, if you want to work with time series data, starting from data cleansing, um, uh, some basic pre-processing steps of time series, time series model, okay, um, and maybe a little bit of uh, uh, in application, and. Uh, and uh, wavelet, okay, wavelet transform. Uh, uh, a lot of time we have to transform the data into another domain to extract high frequency or low frequency components of the data. And wavelet is one of the um, prominent tools used in, in right now. Okay, uh, next, um, next, and this is a very important one, the model, okay. The ultimate goal is, of course, to develop a model. We have um, we have uh, four or five courses. Uh, let me start with the estimation theory. These will discuss a lot of um, classical techniques like minimum mean square, uh, maximum likelihood, the Bayesian the Bayesian techniques. So uh, it will be used in statistical inference and system identification. Um, <coughs> Statistical learning and inference uh, will provide you fundamental concept of all the tools you are familiar right now. Supervised, unsupervised model, regression, classification model, for example, uh, nonlinear regression, neural network, uh, the basic one, um, the tree based model, uh, the SVM, um, the KNN, okay. For the unsupervised, we have uh, k-mean clustering, uh, SOM, Gaussian mixture model. Okay, so uh, it will uh, it will be taught in statistical inference. But for <coughs> for system identification, uh, these will uh, the the one thing that is different from stat statistical learning is that system ident will focus more on estimation of uh, dynamical models. Uh, like servo, uh, servo model, servo mechanisms, or the thermal uh, process or temperature process, like some real physical uh, applications. Uh, if you want to focus on the recent trend of deep learning, we have a uh, neural net that, uh, that is aimed to capture uh, uh, recent techniques uh, or the new architectures. Uh, of CNN, the feed forward, the graph, neural network, all kind of these things. And we also have reinfor reinforcement learning that, uh, of course, as, as everyone know, has been used a lot in, in, um, in control, in, uh, in energy management system, in, in uh, power engineering, and also in traffic engineering. Uh, all, all, all of these courses we, you see on the mind map right now, you see two types of arrow, the red one, and also the green one, okay? Um, the red one is aimed to be like the official uh, connection by the rules of registration. So the red one means that you must pass. Uh, I, the, the red one is to represent the core requisite course, but the green one is basically just to provide you a conceptual connections between the courses, but it doesn't apply a rule for you to, 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 reach, uh, to register the courses. You also have seen, noticed, uh, you have noticed the, uh, the number in the parentheses, for example, uh, introduction to computer vision with the parentheses two, it means that this course has two credits. The courses in the green category are applications level. The courses, uh, for example, multimedia com, IoT, fundamental, computer vision, the one listed with the dash line, with the dash line, are not again officially listed in our program. Um, uh, so if you uh, <coughs> you can check out another uh, cluster program for for the detail of these courses. 
Okay. As you see that our data analytic programs uh, provide, uh, provide uh, many topics and with a different number of credits. So we have uh, planned the schedule, semester one and semester two. You can check out available courses in each semester. And uh, because all these courses have different number of credits, uh, the length of uh, the length of these courses are different. For example, the five hundred five hundred is linear algebra. It will be taught during the one the f the week one till week five. For five to one uh, system identification, it will be taught starting from week six till week sixteen. Okay, so you can uh, check out this schedule and plan ahead. Uh, but one thing that is important is is that regardless of the class number of credit you must enroll all these classes during the first two weeks of the semester you may check the you may check the firm deadline from the registration website okay for example if you want to take uh, 515 okay even though it starts from week six you must enroll it before during the first week the first two weeks okay for existing students who enter WE before 2023, you, you are in the existing uh, study program. All these courses, which are listed in the, current, in the old program, now will be closed, and you can take this course number instead of this one. For example, the, the, old, the old study program is 505. It's all about optimization, but now you can enroll 508 and 509 instead. Um, again, for undergrad, you can take these classes for your elective, for your elective uh, choices. And uh, for graduate, you must, uh, you must take the yellow one and other ones that amount to 20, uh, 12 credits okay, for, for, for graduate students. Uh, the instructors of these courses are listed here, for example. Um, we might change, we might swap or rotate the, instructor, the, the instructors in the future, okay? And then um, I think, I think uh, next I will show you how to get into this information <coughs> that I just previously showed. The very first thing is uh, our department website, you go to EE and you go to research, research cluster. Oh, sorry. Okay, and you go to data analytics. Okay, uh, you see a lot of uh, our concept. The the course map is here, and um, this is the connection. And you see a lot of courses here. You can click to see the course description. Okay, to check out, and and all of that. Okay. Um, I am Chitkomut. Uh, I am the coordinator of the curriculum. Uh, for admission of international student, can be you can contact Professor Supawadi, and these are the list of professors in our data data clusters. Okay, uh, they are both instructors or uh, or the researchers in 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 this direction. Uh, next, for registration purpose, okay, if you are international student, go to uh, reg reg .jula .ac .th. If you want to check only the schedule, go to schedule, schedule, and uh, uh, I'm going to give an example that we are in the semester system, our double E in the semester system, and you can just um, select that this is the first semester. The academic year is 2023. I'm going to put that um, our course number in our double E. We we'll always start with uh, one, uh, two, one, or two. Okay, I'm going to put five because um, five are the course number of all, uh, of all courses in the program. Okay, let me just, okay. Ah, now it will show, for example, even though we just uh, planned the schedule like in the mind map, but let me remind you that this is just for the effective uh, in coming year 2023, in the future, all the course schedule and the instructor should be checked um, on the registration system. Okay, 
that might change in the future or, or as well. For example, 500, it will say here that it uh, studied during the first uh, five weeks. The, this is the name, the code of the instructor, JSS, is Chikomu uh, Songsri, which is me. Um, uh, oh, the, I don't know why it displays in Thai. This is the uh, location of the course, EE building. Uh, the room is 404. This is the schedule. Okay. Um, yeah. And this is uh, uh, the information you can check. And what else? For, for, for instant uh, announcement in the future, um, all of the mind map, uh, the schedule that I just show, actually I have posted in Microsoft team for graduate student, you should enroll CUEE postgrad. Can you see? Postgrad group. Okay, and you see on the right hand side that I already post this information. Hold on, hold on. This is okay. I already post this information, and and all of the instructor will post the information of their courses here. Okay, so if you're just a new student, uh, contact admin staff uh, to invite you to this uh, MS team group. For undergrad, for undergrad. Um, you have your own group, for example, if you're currently a fourth year student, uh, your ID starting starting with 50, 63, you should enroll this group in order to receive uh, this announcement regarding the courses and everything, the enrollment. So uh, everything that I explain in this video can be uh, checked out, can be uh, explored from e website and MS team. Um, I hope that's everything I need to explain about uh, enrollment and uh, registrations. And I hope you enjoy our course in data and analytic programs.